They are no bigger than a grain of rice, yet they fight more fiercely than any battlefield on Earth. No swords, no guns, no negotiation. Only instinct, survival, and the unyielding will of an entire empire. This is the life and death war of the ants. Here, a hidden world of strategy, sacrifice, and ruthless combat unfolds, ruled not by kings, but by collective instinct. The Life and Death War of Ants. Part two, the invaders appear. Beneath the soft soil, the air grows heavy. Old pheromone trails seem to vibrate with invisible alarm signals. From the edge of the territory, a massive movement emerges. Hundreds, even thousands of army ants, Ecaton Bercelli, march from the rainforest, advancing into the fertile ground marked by fire ants, Solenopsis Invicta, as their own. This intrusion is no accident. The fire ants' recent pheromone markers indicate a rich source of food and freshly laid eggs. The army ants, born for migration, immediately detect this abundance, a potential feast to sustain their entire colony. Each step of the army ants shakes the tiny grains of soil, like a hidden drumbeat of danger. The fire ants on the frontier instantly recognize the foreign scent, Emergency pheromones are released from the frontline soldiers, racing through the tunnels to alert the central colony. No words, no eyes meet, only chemical signals guiding the entire empire into high alert. Soldiers in the central chambers tense up. A sense of imminent danger sweeps over them, making every antenna quiver continuously. This is not merely an intrusion, it is a direct threat to the queen and the survival of the colony. Tension rises. Scout teams are deployed to the outer trails, probing for signs of the enemy. Once a scouting unit reports back, lines of soldiers emerge from the tunnels, forming a living wall to protect the borders. Alarm signals propagate relentlessly. Each pheromone droplet reminds the colony that war is inevitable. Worker ants begin storing food in deeper chambers, while larvae are moved to the safest locations. The underground world becomes a hive of urgent activity, each action deliberate, instinctive, and guided by the laws of survival. Ahead, the invaders move swiftly, constantly shifting direction to find weaknesses. Army ants are renowned for their ability to migrate in organized waves. They divide into smaller squads to scout, encircle, and cut off supply routes, creating chaos for the defenders. The invisible commanders of the fire ants, guided by pheromones, deploy their army strategically. Checkpoints are established along the borders, using narrow tunnels and terrain as natural advantages. Every enemy movement is recorded. High-level danger pheromones stimulate the troops to prepare for the life-and-death battle ahead. In the quiet moments before combat, tension saturates the tunnels. Thousands of ants understand that today their lives are stakes. A single misstep could jeopardize the entire empire. Part 3. The battle begins. As sunlight fades, the battle erupts just beneath the surface. Thousands of ants move in instinctual formations. Soldiers from both sides face each other, bodies vibrating with anticipation, mandibles open and venom ready. Initial skirmishes occur with scouts clashing, gradually expanding into massive waves of assault. Fire ants use their tunnel advantage, emerging from narrow crevices to strike quickly, then retreating. Army ants, famous for their brute force, break into smaller squads and charge, sacrificing themselves to breach defenses. One-on-one -on -one duels are intense. A small but agile fire ant jumps onto the back of a larger army ant, biting at a leg joint to immobilize it. The army ant retaliates, shaking violently to throw off the attacker, forcing dozens of smaller ants to adjust their positions immediately. Sophisticated tactics unfold. Suicide squads. Small groups of fire ants engage the frontline army ants, holding them in place to allow the main forces to attack from behind. Cutting off supply lines. Army ants split into small teams, infiltrating food and larva roots of the fire ants, preventing reinforcements and resource flow. The battle rages below the surface as well. Warriors navigate narrow tunnels, striking suddenly and disappearing, their every move guided by pheromone signals. 
Each action is a split-second decision between life and death. Losses mount on both sides. Ants sacrifice themselves to defend territory, the queen, the brood, and critical supply routes. Venom mixes with soil, creating a brutal battleground that only these tiny creatures fully comprehend. The climax arrives in an open area with no tunnels to retreat. Thousands of ants fight almost simultaneously, formations constantly shifting in response to pheromone cues. Fire ants use lightning-fast strike tactics, while army ants rely on overwhelming numbers and coordinated pressure to dominate. Sacrifices, duels, and clever maneuvers paint a vivid picture of primal warfare. There is no fear, no selfishness, only absolute survival instinct, loyalty to the colony, and one goal, defend or expand territory. In the chaos, a new tactic emerges, pheromone deception. A group of fire ants emits false alarm scents, scattering army ant forces and opening gaps for counterattacks. Conversely, army ants apply relentless pressure, forcing fire ant lines to the brink of collapse. The battle continues for hours. Every ant understands that this is more than a fight. It is the confrontation of two empires, two perfectly evolved survival instincts. No individual retreats. Every action serves the collective goal. As night envelopes the battlefield deep underground, the clash of invaders and defenders continues, a living testament to survival, sacrifice, and strategy. In the world of ants, every day can become a life-or-death war.